Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we're going to talk about the event calendar. Should you summon this weekend, or should you save? The finest blood for the most untainted soul. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the people that should summon this weekend. And then kind of expand on the why, uh, the reasons why most people should not. <laughs> so, it is the 4th, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have a special event on Sunday. But we do have a Shard Summoning event happening for Helga. But you don't need to do all of the summoning events in order to get enough summons to get her. So, do you need to summon because there's a fusion? No, you do not. That's the first part. The second part is, I would say, brand new accounts. If you just started this week, last week, maybe the week before even, you only got a couple legendaries, two, three, whatever, or just really nothing exciting, it's always good to pull for those first couple weeks just to get your account rolling. And, you know, there's two times chances to drop legendary heroes on divines and spirits. So that's really, really good in general just to help grow your account and have higher odds personally i prefer to say that two times is the best time to pull for divines we just had a two times with a good 15 times banner so i don't anticipate that happening anytime soon although next week is special so maybe it will keep that in mind but this is definitely a safe time to pull your divines because it's a uh, uh 12 percent chance instead of a six percent chance to get a legendary from each divine and yeah that's good spirits i don't love it two times because uh, like it's 0.5 percent to one percent chance difference and you still could go all the way to 200 plus summons even on a two times which we do a lot and not get anything i prefer to save your spirit summons for a one plus one extra legendary event where you know you're guaranteed two heroes for the price of one or for a good 15 times event where if you get your hit your pity or however many legendaries you get you at least know you have a higher chance to get someone that's really good so is this banner really good is this worth pulling on um valk i would say yes because she's amazing in a lot of content especially the more and more that new heroes and new content have come out, I thought she was going to get worse, but she's actually getting better. So she's a great AoE damage dealing hero. She's now part of the Arbiter and the Northerner faction. So if you get a Praetis on your account and you don't have like a Thalin, Velt can still be like your main girl for a fighter to have on hand along with Praetis boosting her. Uh, and of course, Northerner, it's we have two Northerner epic lords and two legendary lords for her to be boosted by which is really really great as well i still love valk she's amazing for content like artifact material raid because she gets the extended range with her awakening here and you can have her face hit all the way across on the one side and then she also hits anything behind her if you didn't know that about her attacks which is really cool i love that she can hit behind her I always forget that she doesn't have a talent, but she's amazing. She doesn't need one. And so if you don't have a Valk on your account, I would say it's okay to pull, especially if you're lacking in any anti-heal heroes for sake of guild R, so gear raid one, trying to push to like the 19, 20, 21. If you don't have anyone that does anti-heal like Artemis or Demi, and you still need a Lassier, then this is definitely worth pulling on for anyone, I would say. But we need to be aware of what's to come. I think most people would hold off this weekend because while well, even while Valk and Lucier can be top tier in certain spots, I get I should say in gear dungeon one, which they people call gear raid four, uh Valk and Lucier are in both in my team for my highest dungeon level honestly they're very perfect in that dungeon but we don't know what's to come so what's to come the next following weekend is the real first anniversary event 
So with that in mind, it's a real first anniversary date of it going global. July 13th was the first day this game officially launched globally. That was the real day one. And that's falling on a summoning weekend. So it's very possible that they could put out some more amazing events. We already know that regarding the ancient summoning crystals, there should be a Praetis and Jira banner coming. That has been leaked for a while now. I doubt they would change it. Um, we just didn't know when it was happening. Like, was it going to happen last week, this week, next week? We didn't really know for sure. But it seems like the logical time would be next week because it's the anniversary. When better to put out for like the best hero in the game? Uh, I think that just makes sense. Again, everything is subject to change based on leaks and information. But that's what we're assuming for Ancients. But I don't know anything that's happening for sure regarding our normal summons. If you guys do, feel free to comment below if you know the spoilers or the rumors at least. Um, if there's any signs you think that we're going to have something specific happening. But I don't know for sure. I didn't see anything um, in... I saw someone say, oh, there's something big happening uh, next weekend. But I, I don't know what that is. So I can't say 100%. It's going to be better than pulling a Valk on your account. I don't know. But uh, we know the Ancients are going to be exciting. But that doesn't affect any of this. So either way, you wouldn't be pulling Ancients this weekend. Because there is no Ancient Summoning Banner. So that kind of covers that. So yeah, I think the TLDR again. Overall, don't summon this weekend. Because there could be amazing stuff happening next weekend. At least a 1 plus 1 event, I would expect. If not a crazy 15 times banner as well. At least a one plus one, I would assume, with the next like holiday anniversary celebration. Um, yeah, and I think that's worth waiting for instead of a one plus one. But if you want to pull your divines and try to get better odds there, you're probably pretty safe to do so. Unless they surprise us with another two times, 15 times for both divine and spirit again, then it might be a bummer. But yeah, that's why you probably should not pull. Early accounts should pull. And anyone without a Valk or Lassier that's needing to push gear dungeon one or gear raid one could probably benefit with them on their account or um, Valk is just useful in so many areas of the game like AMR and I use her so heavily in Void Rift even. She's just a really great hero. So I love Valk. I've almost got mine maxed and I'm really happy for that. But yeah, that's been it for today's video. Hope this conversation was helpful. I'm not going to do a summoning party this weekend. I've got some really busy stuff with an exciting new um, job that I'll be talking about very soon that I'm doing. So I'm going to be working on that instead. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.